mustn't forget to ask Anna about the flight details. Confirm pickup arrangements. Uh, maybe some small talk. Ask if she's ever been to London before. Uh, don't forget to tell her about the red tie I'll be wearing to recognize me by. And I should confirm the dinner plans. Uh, I think that's it. Alice Klein speaking. How may I help you? Hello, this is Harry Thomas of LTQ. I'd like to speak to Anna Becker, please. One moment, Mr. Thomas. I'm putting you through. Thank you. Hello, Harry. Anna speaking. Good to finally hear your voice. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good to speak with you, too. So about your flight tomorrow? Yes. Just want to make sure we have all the details. It's Lufthansa, flight LH6322, Arriving at 6.10 p.m. And you booked at the Tizzle Kingsington Hotel. Is that correct? Yes, that's all right. Great. We'll be sending a driver to pick you up and drive you to the hotel. He will meet you at the arrival gate and be carrying a sign with your name on it so you really can't miss him. Wonderful. Thank you, Harry. I appreciate that. I'm quite excited as I haven't been to London in quite some time. Well, our vice president of marketing, Mark Meadows, and I thought we can all have dinner together after you get checked in at the hotel. That way we can get to know each other before the meeting the next morning with our general manager. How does that sound? That sounds lovely, Harry. What time did you have in mind? What I thought around eight. Does that suit you? Perfect. And where shall we dine? I've heard great things recently about London's restaurants. Well, I thought if you're staying at the Kensington Hotel, we can go to Samson's. It's one of the best steak restaurants in London, and it's right down the street from your hotel. That sounds very good, but... Or if you prefer something else, it's no problem at all. There are other restaurants... I'm so sorry to be a bother. It's just that I don't eat red meat. Or in that case, I know a lovely restaurant directly across from your hotel called the Lafayette. They serve an eclectic but wonderful menu. <laughs> that sounds great. Thanks, Harry. Of course. We'll see the restaurant at 8 p.m. All you have to do is, when you leave the hotel, turn left... Walk down the street to the intersection. Cross over, keep walking in the same direction for about 50 meters, and you'll see it. Wonderful. Oh, and how shall I recognize you? <sighs> oh, no, silly me. I'll be wearing a red tie. But I'm sure the host will show you to our table. When I call to make the reservations, I'll also leave your name. Great. Thanks for calling, Harry, and I'll see you tomorrow. Right then, Anna. Have a good flight. Thank you, Harry. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So, Harry, what's Anna like? Actually, Mark, I've never even met her. What are you talking about? You've been working on the sale for six months now, and you're telling me you've never met? In fact, until yesterday, we've never even spoken on the phone. You're kidding. <laughs> no, sir. The wonders of the Internet. All done through email, my friend. Hmm. That's impressive. Anyhow... Where is she? It's already 20 minutes after 8. I can only nurse a single pint for so long. I don't know. I hope everything's okay. I actually haven't spoken to her since yesterday, but I checked the flight and it landed on time. You mean you didn't call the hotel to make sure she arrived? No. I... Oh, no. Oh, come to think of it, we really ought to have picked her up at the hotel. Really? Do you think... Actually, I do. Not very polite of us. Oh, no. You're right. How stupid of me not to think of it. I hope everything's okay. Well, it seems it's your lucky day, buddy. There's a woman coming this way. Hello, Anna. Nice to finally meet you. Oh, Harry. Lovely to finally see you as well. And I'd like you to meet Mark Meadows. He is our Vice President of Sales. Great to meet you too, Mark. Please, sit down. And I do apologize for being late. Oh, not at all. What a day. Was there some sort of problem? Well, there must have been some mix-up with your driver at the airport. When I arrived, I waited about half an hour, but there was no one there with my name. So I finally decided to take a taxi to the hotel. But the taxi driver took me to the wrong Thistle Kensington. It seems there are three. <laughs> 
I tried to check in, but of course they didn't have a reservation for me. The lady at the desk discovered that I was booked at the Thistle Kensington Gardens Hotel on Bayswater Road, close to your offices. I took another taxi and finally here I am. Hannah, I am so sorry for all the trouble you went through. I can't imagine what happened with the driver. This is simply shocking. I'm calling the driver immediately. Excuse me, Anna, Harry. Hello, Apu? Yes, this is Mark. Well, not too well, actually. Weren't you supposed to pick up a lady from the airport this evening? What? That's impossible. She waited for you for half an hour. Yes, she did. What? What's that you say? No, not Edna. Anna. Oh, right. An honest mistake. No, no, I'm not angry. We just need to be a little clearer next time. Right then. Bye. <laughs> Edna, Anna, Edna, Anna. It seems like our driver, Apu, waited for you with a sign saying Edna. Now that I think about it, there was an Indian fellow with a sign for an Edna. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't think to ask him if he was actually waiting for me. Now I really feel like an idiot. Oh, no, no, Anna, don't be silly. It's totally my fault. And I'm sorry as well. So there we have it. We're all terribly sorry, and now it's time to have a nice dinner. Yes, of course. Good idea, Mark. So tell us, Anna, despite all the mishaps upon landing, how was your flight? Oh, not too bad. No crying babies, fortunately. <laughs> well, that's good. And are you finding the weather to your liking? Oh, Harry, what a question. You expect poor Anna to compliment the nasty English weather? It took me years to get used to. I can't complain. It may be damp and drizzling, but at least it's warmer than Berlin. Good evening, madam. May I offer you something to drink? Why, yes. I'll have a glass of Chardonnay and a mineral water, please. And for the gentleman? Yes, I'd like another of the same, please. I'm still fine, thanks. Perhaps a glass of water will be lovely. Thank you. So, Anna, you've mentioned on the phone you've been to London. When were you last here? It must have been almost ten years ago now. I came for the summer after my first year at university. I had a very good British friend called Joanne, whom I stayed with. Unfortunately, I've lost touch with her since, but I have such fond memories of the trip. Well, it's great for us that you're here in London. Oh, it's my pleasure. I love to travel, even if it's on business. In fact, my husband often comes with me on my trips, but this time he stayed back. Oh, I didn't know you were married. Mm, yes, almost five years now. How time flies. How about you two? Are you married? Divorced. My marriage lasted about five years too many. <laughs> How long were you married? Just about five years. <laughs> Don't take Mark too seriously, Anna. Mark is quite devoted to his work. And my wife noticed that I was much more devoted to it than to her. I see. It can be difficult. So, Anna, what does your husband do? My husband is a writer and also very absorbed in his career. But because he works from home, he's often free to travel with me. While I'm at meetings, he walks around the city and then finds himself a cafe to do some writing. Why didn't he join you this time? Oh, he has a meeting with his publisher the day after tomorrow, so he's on a strict deadline. Plus, we only recently returned from a holiday in Switzerland. Are you skiers? Yes, my husband Jan has been skiing since childhood. I started skiing not long after we started dating. I love it. It's such a perfect winter holiday. My wife Diana also skied as a child. She still goes with her family every so often. But she decided to take this winter off because we're expecting. Are you? Oh, how wonderful. Congratulations. A boy or a girl? Actually, we've decided we want to be surprised. Only another two months to go. Yes, Harry here is soon to be a family man. Oh, here comes our waitress. I think it's time to get down to the real business of deciding what we like to eat. This evening, we're offering antipasti as our featured starter. It comes with aubergine, courgette, peppers, sweet potato, and our own home-cured ham. For our main courses, we have a rosemary-crusted rack of lamb, a swordfish steak, and a porcini mushroom linguine in white wine and cream sauce. Do you like a few more minutes before you order? Yes, please. Mmm, it all sounds delicious. <laughs> so what will it be, Anna? 
Hmm, I think I'll have the prawns and white wine. Well, that sounds nice. If it doesn't bother you, Anna, I'll go for something meaty. Oh, don't be silly. I don't eat red meat strictly for health reasons and personal preference. It certainly doesn't bother me. Well, in that case, I think I'll make up for your lack of meat eating, Anna. That rack of lamb special sounds great. Well, shall I try to get the waitress's attention if everyone is ready to order? Yes, do. All right, for you, madam? I will have the prawns and white wine. Anything to start? Ooh, um, yes, I'll have the Caesar salad, please. Excellent. And for you, sir? Mm, yes, I'd like... I'd... <laughs> oh, excuse me. Go, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> All right, thank you. I'd like the beef carpaccio to start and the pork chops for the main. And for you? I would like that lovely rack of lamb you mentioned and the fresh herbs and goat cheese stuffed mushroom caps to start. Very good. Well, that was lovely. I had no idea that London has such wonderful restaurants. Oh yes, the food is much improved. When I first came to London, it was really awful, except for the curries. No, no, I didn't mean to say that. Well, traditional British cooking is not particularly gourmet. But London has truly become the center for top-notch international restaurants. You can get anything in the world here. It's true. There's a lot to choose from in London. Ten years ago, living on a typical student budget, I didn't have the opportunity to sample London's excellent restaurants. So is it possible we could have met you in one of the local pubs at that time? Yes, and it isn't that I didn't like those meals. My friend Joanne and I used to go out to eat in pubs quite a bit. I can't imagine how I didn't put on any weight with all that eating. <laughs> Anyhow, tonight's dinner was certainly a cut above. Delicious without being too heavy and rich. Does that mean you have a bit of room left for dessert? I've heard that the puddings here are excellent. No, I'm afraid I'll have to pass. I don't really have much of a sweet tooth and I'm quite full. What about a digestive? No, unfortunately I think it's time for me to call it a night. It's been a rather long day. Of course. Check, please. Here you are, sir. No, no. Let me get this. You're our guest here. No, that really isn't necessary. Please. Company credit card. It goes on the expense account. May I leave a tip at least? What is the customary percentage here? I can't seem to remember. No, honestly, Anna. The tip goes on the credit card. Please put your pocketbook away. But if you'd like to know, standard tipping at restaurants is between 10 and 15 percent. Oh, really? It's a bit lower in Germany. People tend to give about 5% directly to the waiter or waitress when they pay the bill. They don't usually leave it on the table. If I remember correctly, it's in pubs that the British don't tip. Yeah, that's true. But these days, people are also tipping in some of the more upscale bars. Well, thank you gentlemen for the lovely meal. It was very generous of you. And also for the tips on tipping. <laughs> You're very welcome, Anna. Especially after the airport mix-up. It's our pleasure. All is forgotten. <laughs> Shall we? And this is the conference room where mm -hmm. we'll be sitting shortly. Very nice. Yes, it's not bad. <laughs> We've had some restructuring recently. You know how it is. People get moved around. Unfortunately, a few people were laid off and others brought in. But now the company is continuing to expand. There have been some renovations and redecorating. That's why the office is looking so spiffy. Yes, the entrance is spectacular. Very high-tech, yet elegant. Yes, our receptionist, Jenny, sure is enjoying it, along with the fancy new coffee machine. Speaking of which, can I get you some tea or coffee, Anna? Now that you mention it, I wouldn't mind a cup of coffee. Shall we wander back to reception? Yes, I'll just continue the tour along the way. Actually, before we continue, would you mind telling me where the toilets are? Of course. Just go straight down the hall and turn left. You'll see the door to the ladies right across from the photocopier. You can't miss it. Right. Thanks, Harry. How about if I meet you back here in a couple of minutes? I'll just pop into my office in the meantime. Okay. See you in a minute. Hiya, Harry. How are you this morning? Hi, I'm fine. And you? Oh, not too bad. After our supper last night, I went out for a couple of beers with some friends. But only a pint or two. I behaved myself. You certainly have a lot of energy, Mark. I don't know how you do it. Heads out, boss behind you. 
Good morning. Good morning, Janet. And a very fine morning it is. Is everyone ready for the big meeting? Yes, of course. One hundred percent. Good to hear. And where's our buyer? She popped off to the ladies' room for a moment. We're in the middle of our tour. Wonderful. I understand from Mark that you two took her out to a nice welcome dinner last night. Yes, we did. And I think she really enjoyed herself. Excellent. All right, I'm off to my office to take care of a few things. I'll see you both in the boardroom in 15, correct? Right. Definitely. See you there. Whew. Janet sure is on top of things this morning. As always, Mark. Jeannie told me she was here until almost nine last night. Oh, here comes Anna. Good morning, Anna. Mark, we're just in the middle of our grand tour. Would you like to join us? We're going to go down to visit the new coffee machine. The one near reception? Yes, sirree. Don't mind if I do. Mark likes visiting Ginny in reception. Oh, I see. Seems like every office has its own gossip and intrigue. <laughs> Looks like we're the first ones here. Well, I'm here. <laughs> Just setting up the projector for the presentation. Timmy, man, you scared me. Anna, this is Timmy, our RIT manager. Hello, Timmy. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Well, I'm all finished up in here. Um, Mark, give me a ring if you need anything or if there are any problems with the computer. Sure thing. Thanks, Timmy. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Hello. You must be Anna Becker. Yes, I am. Lloyd Rutherford, Managing Director here at LTQ. Pleased to meet you. Oh, hello. Very pleased to meet you too, Mr. Rutherford. Oh, please call me Lloyd. Of course, Lloyd. I hope Mark and Harry here have been treating you well. Yes, they have been very welcoming. We had dinner last night and a lovely tour of the office this morning. Good to hear. And how have you been enjoying London? First visit? No, but the first in around ten years. I was last here for a summer when I was a student. It's a pleasure to be back. Is Janet on her way? Yes, yes, any moment now. Janet? Yeah, Janet Graham, our CEO. Janet Graham? That's funny. Really? Why? Oh, well, it's just that my old friend here in London, her surname was also Graham. And the name Janet seems familiar as well. Yes, well, Graham is quite a common name in these parts. Rather like Müller in Germany. And Janet is a very popular first name. Yes, of course. How silly of me. Oh, here is Janet. Anna, I'd like to introduce you to our CEO. Mrs. Graham. Anna. That's right. And Janet, this is Anna Becker. Anna, what are you doing here? Well, I'm here for the meeting. I'm the head buyer for Sumner in Berlin. I guess you must be the CEO here at LTQ. Yes, I am. Well, what a fantastic coincidence. Yes, unbelievable. So, I understand you two know each other? Well, yes. Anna here was a good friend of my daughter, Joanne. Do you remember last night when I mentioned that the last time I was here in London, I was visiting a British friend called Joanne? Yes, of course. Joanne is my eldest daughter. Anna stayed with us for a summer when they were both at university. How long ago is that now? About ten years. My, time certainly flies. Well, that is quite a coincidence. Quite. I guess no introduction is needed. How have you been, Mrs. Graham? And how is Joanne these days? Oh, Joanne is doing very well, and please call me Janet. I'm quite busy at work these days, and as you can see, the company is doing very well. And Joanne is married. She has a little boy, Tommy. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Joanne has a boy. It's so lovely to see you again. I've been thinking about Joanne a lot in these past years. I know that she'll be thrilled to hear that you're in town. Only for another couple of days, I'm afraid. Well, tonight you're coming over to our place for dinner. I'll check with Joanne to make sure that she can come. That would be lovely. I assume that you've met Lloyd, Anna? Yes, we've been introduced. Well then, I suppose we need to get started with our meeting. Coincidence or not? Absolutely. I don't think my bosses would be pleased if I returned without a decision about your product. And I'm quite excited to learn more after these months of being in contact with Harry. Excellent. Well, let's all take a seat.